Hi everybody, welcome to our social media pages here at Rebath. I am Dana, the marketing manager here, and I'm again here with Jean talking about one of our awesome products here at Rebath, our Dura Ceramic. So Jean, what's your favorite thing about our Dura Ceramic product? Well, one of the things I like, because we're CAP certified, being certified aging in place specialist, a lot of the products out there are not as good as far as the texture. If you can hear that on oh, the TV, yeah. it's a slip resistant floor when we lay it down, it's also warmer than tile, which is another reason why I like it. It's about 60% warmer. So for those two reasons alone, it's probably one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite products for flooring that we have that's out there in the marketplace today. Okay, um, it's <clears throat> called Dura Ceramic. How is it different from traditional tile? Well, traditional tile uh, has some limitations. First of all, there's a thermal mask to it, meaning there's a cement floor board they put down, mm -hmm. and then we put down something to attach the tile to the floor, and then the tile itself is ceramic. So there's a bunch of problems with that. And then on top of that, we have to grout in between that tile here regardless because of the nature of the product. Okay. With Dura Ceramic, we don't have to grout. We can actually put it tight together, and it gives a really beautiful look that you, if you're familiar with tile, it, it gives you a unique look that nobody else has in their home. Okay, and we, can we grout this product too? Yes, it can be grouted, although personally we prefer not to do it because it is a beautiful look without it. Like okay. I said, with traditional tile, you have to have grout. That means everybody has it. Yeah. With this product, we can actually butt it together. Now the edges are beveled ever so slightly, so it's going to look like tile. It's not going to look mm -hmm. like a roll floor or anything like that. So it still looks like tile, but you don't have the huge lines, and it just makes it a crisper, tighter look. I know with our grout in our house, um, I like to I vacuum the whole floor, yeah. and the grout starting to come up, and I've noticed that's a, a problem that we're having with our grout. Right, and going back so. to that, the easy to clean factor of not having that. Oh grout. yeah. Because when you have grout, there's obviously places where stuff can get caught into. Mm -hmm. If this is tight together and it's the same material, it's simple cleaning. As a matter of fact, what the company recommends is just spot sweeping it up and spot cleaning it as needed. Oh, Very wow. easy to take care of. And one of the reasons for that is that texture stuff I was kind of scratching on uh -huh. that, that here, that is actually scotch guard. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, so when you have that, nothing's penetrating into that tile. Now, if we think about traditional tile, how they achieve that is they put a glazing on it. Mm -hmm. That glazing makes tile very, very slick. And if you think about what's going on in the bathroom, you're stepping out of the shower, to just the fall situation yeah. and things like that. We don't have that issue with this tile. Awesome. Um, so this tile here, uh, can it be laid like regular tile in all different sorts of patterns? Absolutely. Um, so we got two different options. So the options are kind of limits us a little bit. Now with the 16 by 16 tile, we can do either what's called the checkerboard, which is just a grid. Uh -huh. And then we can also do a brick where we offset them. It's kind of like this one right here, if you can see that from there. It's just okay. a little bit offset. Now, if it's 12 by 24, we can do the same things. And the other cool thing is we can go either lengthwise, so we make your bathroom appear longer, mm -hmm. or we can put it the other direction to make it appear wider, depending on what your bathroom is shaped like. The other cool thing with this is, this particular product, we can actually lay in a herringbone if we wanted to. Um, we have to have a big bathroom for that. We'll really make it achievable. The only thing I advise people against doing that is, it's been popular a few times throughout history as far as design goes, mm -hmm. and it really dates the bathroom to what it was done last. Okay. So that'd be my only warning is the herringbone is really going to date a bathroom. The checkerboard or the, the brick offset are timeless. They're, they've been doing it forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've seen the ones where they like pinwheel it too. And yeah. That, the, the labor on that has to be a lot more. Well, the other <laughs> problem is you got to remember the average bathroom today is 35 square feet. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to get. So going back to the tile patterns, so mm -hmm. don't forget. The tiles themselves are 16 inch by 16 or 12 by 24, one specific reason. Most of your standard ceramic tiles are 12 by 12. Because of human nature and how long we've developed over the many millions of years, mm -hmm. a person can walk in your bathroom very quickly tell how big it is. It's five tiles wide, uh, seven feet long. It's a 35 square foot bath, which by the way is the average. If the mind can't tell that it's 12 inches and it's bigger, the mind just assumes it's a bigger bathroom. So it's one of the tricks we use uh -huh. in design to try and make your bathroom appear bigger. Oh, well that's a cool little interesting fact. I'm full of those. <laughs> well, you told us that your favorite thing about our Dura Ceramic is the non-slip feature, which is great for our aging and accessibility remodels. But what would you say is your least favorite thing about our Dura Ceramic? Um, right now, Dura Ceramic, the least favorite thing, I, 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 one of the popular trends in design today is the wood look. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we got a couple yeah. of wood looks on here, but they're a gray aged look. And we, and the, some people like the warm feeling seeing a wood floor. Yeah. And you know, we got a new product coming out. Oh, we do, but Gene, I think we should wait for an, okay. an, another segment. Okay. We do have a new luxury vinyl plank, and I know Gene is, and the guys are so excited to tell it you all nice. about it. So we will have a segment on our luxury vinyl plank coming up here, but I'd like to thank Gene for coming out. Can I bring up one more thing? Oh yeah, absolutely. So the one really cool thing about Dura Ceramic Floors, and this isn't for every application, but uh -huh. um, if you have a situation where you have a cold floor in a bathroom, meaning you have a north-facing bathroom, you have a slab home, you have a bathroom that's above a garage. Yeah. These things can all be problems when you have an issue with the cold temperatures. So at this floor, we can actually heat this floor. Oh, that is awesome. So no, it gets even better. So with this, we got four different options you can do for, for turning on the thermostat. Okay, you got the obviously knob. Uh-huh. But we got a touch screen, you can actually program it to come on at a certain time every morning. Wow. So if you know every morning I'm gonna get up at five, get ready to walk the dog. That'll be on, ready to go for you. Oh my gosh! So now we've, you, can, we've you got, can program your floors, you can program your showers. And on top of that, there's one thermostat we have that's Bluetooth capable. So you, mm -hmm. while you're in bed, you can go, yeah, let's turn it on at this time tomorrow morning and have it shut off at this time. Or if, oh. you're, if you're very scheduled, like if you're retired or something like that, and you don't want to have, you can set it whatever time you want to. Well, guys, if you have any questions about how to get that awesome floor. <laughs> Just put them in the comments below, or if you have any questions regarding our Dura Ceramic, we'd be happy to answer them. But until next week, have a great day. Have a great day.